Thank you very much, Pastor Adrian Duplessy, for giving us the prayer and the blessings for us this morning. Officially, let me start now, uh, Chairman of the Governing Council of Ireland, Dr. David Richard Namandi, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Al Taylor, and Pro Vice Chancellor, Academic and Research Professor Wolo, Acting Pro Vice Chancellor, Administration and Management, Dr. Dimon Kua, these are directors, registrar, as of the Department of Academic and Administrative Staff, President of the SRC and the Retired Parents and Guardians who are with us today, our returning students and our new students and the alumni, invited guests, members of the media present. Allow me the pleasure of greeting you this morning and welcoming you to this ceremony which launches our academic calendar of this year, 2019. I take great pleasure in welcoming the new students, but also the not so new students who have been with us since last year. And of course, the parents and guardians who are here with us today. I want to congratulate the students who have joined us this year and say welcome to IOM, and we're very glad that you managed the huddle of high school. Now we look forward to being with you for the next number of a few, few years. Today, I'm told, is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine. <laughs> the International University of Management, like all universities all over the world, is an institution drive, driven by three basic principles, mainly teaching and learning, research, production of knowledge, and community engagement. We're here this morning to launch the, 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 the academic uh, agenda for teaching and learning. The university do not differ substantially all over the world. They use this a place where teaching and learning the highest level takes place. You will find out, and this is for the first year, that here there are no teachers to follow you around and hold you accountable for everything you do. Except, of course, when you are maxed down, they will hold you accountable. You also find that you have a large measure of independence and, and, and self-responsibility. We know that this is one way of growing up. If you, a child is learning to walk and you do not want to fall and get the bruise, the child will take a long time to walk. You want you to learn to walk, you want you to learn to exercise self-responsibility. You want you to engage with the knowledge of the subject you have chosen to study here with us. You are thus starting a journey of learning and discovery, and also self-discovery. The knowledge and supplication which will have not only yourself, but the society as well. Universal education is not about the producing all the chapters from books and journals which you have read from the library. But in the end, it is what your opinion of all these materials are, and whether you have incorporated and internalized this body of knowledge to make you a better person, to transform you to what you a potential can, can provide. We want you to grow with us. You have come today as a young man of 17, 18, I saw quite a few of you. When you, when you go walk out of here, you be a fully grown person ready to take on the challenges of life which lie ahead of you. You have to take ownership and responsibility of what you have learned. Indeed, reading has become, has been made much easier to tell you well. That's not because of what I said. It's <laughs> very easy now because of the vast online library of resources at the university, where we have almost over 400,000 books and journals, which the library staff will be very, very glad to introduce you to and to guide you on how to access them. The IUM library online resources have been made possible through our cooperation and collaboration some of our partners both internally and externally. I thank them for supporting IUM to offer the best education for the Namibian child. We are now open to do business, not only in Namibia, not only in Southern, but all over Africa at large. The IUM as a university prides itself not only as educating job seekers, but also job creators as well. You will find out that entrepreneurship and innovation have become very important parts of your curriculum here at the International University of Management. When you graduate, we want you to graduate not only with your certificate, but also with the skills to 
start your, uh, to start your own company if you want to do that. We cannot all aspire to become clerks in government offices, because jobs are limited, and those who are there are looking extremely healthy. <laughs> and we do not wish to be otherwise. So we want to look at other opportunities which we can create ourselves. So what we look at our students as opportunity creators, rather than only helpless ones, complaining about not being given this, not being given that, or not being given the other. I thank some of our external partners who have made this transformation of the University of Moscow. One in particular I want to mention by name, the Wadhwani Foundation uh, from both India and the USA, which has played such a pivotal role in our entrepreneurship and innovation program at this university. We have other partners, such as the UNDP, which is one of our strategic partners. And for their continued support, we shall, and we are, extremely grateful. An equally important task of any university is the production of new knowledge. And your studies have an input component of knowledge creation through research, projects, and, and, and community encounter. We expect that research and production of new knowledge will become more pronounced as you reach the higher levels of your studies to the point where you will hopefully even publish your own research articles and papers with your supervisors and with your lecturers. This is the mark of a maturing university, and we are such a university. As a university, we are expected to have a strong community engagement element in our, all we do, and this includes ensuring that our students are prepared to go out and to work, but also to the community and show a sense of responsibility. We have therefore incorporated internship and work integrated learning in all our courses, and we hope that you will find this enriching and also will give you a component of knowledge which you cannot obtain from the classroom. We have entered into numerous MOUs with many organizations in the country. Some of them we are going to present even more MOUs in the coming few weeks to ensure that there are opportunities for our students for internships and opportunities to learn and to develop that grant of knowledge which they cannot obtain from textbooks. I'd like to urge students also to work at an individual level with the SRC to volunteer to do things that help them to grow and to mature. The SRC and the EVO leadership of the team on my left has got a lot of programs and projects for students. Some of them involve leading our community, teaching them new habits, and learning from them, working with them, swimming in them, and solving problems which exist in society. Please volunteer, because in volunteering, you don't lose anything, but you gain skills from volunteer. Volunteerism is a very important concept for you, for me, and for all of us. I like to urge all students to take their studies very seriously, to realize that studying at university is very demanding. Avoid friends who distract your attention from your work, rather than work closely with friends who have similar goals in themselves. The cell phones, they're called smartphones now are very useful tools, but they can also be very destructive tools. You can make use of them to the extent they're useful, but then we will switch them off to focus on things that are important in our lives. A cell phone will not take you far, you just waste your time if you are not careful in terms of your cell phone use habits. If you experience difficulties in your studies at this university, your head of departments, the office of the dean of students, and of course the student counselor are all on standby to help you. Do not hesitate to ask them for assistance. Let me take this opportunity to welcome Wanda to the Iron Four colleagues who have joined the university this year and those who others who will join us shortly. To our new professors, lecturers, and administrative staff, and indeed also to those who are also new, to all our staff in campuses all over the country, welcome to the Iron family to serve our students and to be the best university that we can be in this country. The best dedicated future. We face two crucial challenges ahead of us in 2019. There are many, but I want to zero in on these two. One is the external challenge, the managing from the economic and financial system, which has not been performing at its optimum. We should therefore continue with our work and do the most we can with the limited resources at our disposal. Nobody 
Nobody has limitless resources, either at the individual level or at an institution. So it will not be spam, spam, spam. But that can no longer be sustainable. We will do the most we can with the limited resources at our disposal. In the same vein, we're in the process of strengthening all avenues of resource mobilization to add to the resources of the university. We should call upon all our staff to come forward with practical ideas of cost saving measures, but also revenue generation and resource mobilization strategies, which can help the university to mobilize the resources to become even better and to offer even more programs to our students in Namibia, in Southern and Africa. Our second challenge is an internal challenge in nature, namely the need to develop a sustainable culture of excellence in customer service and care among all our staff members, for all our students and all our stakeholders. I would like to urge each and every one of us to take it upon themselves to help any person seeking help or services from our UN office, no matter whether it is from your own office or from another office. It does not pass a person who is wandering up and down and say, oh, none of my business. It is our business if the person is looking for services from anywhere. We can help students and take orders who have lost or are in need of our assistance by linking them up with the right person and follow up to ensure services have been rendered. In other words, let us take collective responsibility to make IUM University that cares for its customers, its stakeholders, and its students. In conclusion, allow me to thank and appreciate the work done which has brought us to this point, this academic talent. The chairman of, for his strong support for all activities going on at the university. And it's something. We give a round of applause. <laughs> IOM is a credit partner, both within Namibia and overseas who have come to our support and are working with us to achieve our mutual objectives. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> the DBCs and the DBCs offices for their unwavering support and contribution to the development of the universe. The deans of faculties, directors of campuses, and also HODs for their excellent work that to ensure our new and returning students are well received and our classes are, will be running in a short day as planned. Well. Marketing and Communications, and the Dean of Students for organizing this important event as well. The Office of the President of the SRC and your team, wonderful team it is, for being available to help and to make sure things happen as required. The Office of the Registrar and the Admissions Office, some of them are not here, they are waiting for students that have come and register. who have managed the process of applications and registration so well that they have brought us to where we are. I want to also thank the Office of the Finance and Library and all administrative staff who have done excellent to get us to such a strong start this year. May I ask students in turn, I ask lecturers to serve you well, and I ask you now always to respect those who are serving, not to be unnecessarily out, because that does not help anyone, but to show respect and to work with them as is required in our culture. That does not cost us much, but it helps us to work together easily and smoothly. May I pray that you have an enjoyable academic year at this university and you have an academic success at the end of, the, of this. Thank you for your attention. Once again, welcome to this ceremony. And indeed, happy Valentine's Day.